My name is Georg Budicek. I'm recording engineer and owner of the Tonzauber studio at the Wiener Konzerthaus, which is one of the famous concert locations in Vienna. Furthermore, I'm CEO of the Tonzauber Media Group. With classic music, of course, we do some studio production in our beautiful studio, mostly small ensembles, chamber music, uh, but for larger ensembles like operas and, and large symphonic productions, of course, we have to go into the concert halls and record on location. So we do both studio recordings and location recordings. Of course, one of the difficulties when doing location recording is that you have to improvise a lot, especially when it comes to keeping your uh, control room, your makeshift control room, as noise-free as possible. So hard drives and hard drive arrays always produce a lot of noise and Corning USB 3 uh, optical cables help us to move those hard drives outside the control room, even over longer distances, and therefore keep our control room as noise-free as possible. Speed-wise, there's no difference between the conventional copper USB 3 cable and the optical USB 3 cable. Um, Handling-wise, there are small differences. For example, you can't use bus-powered devices straight onto the connector of the optical USB 3 cable. We are using a uh, USB hub, which is powered in between, which takes care of powering the connected devices. The big advantage of the Corning USB 3 optical cable is that it's very thin, it's very flexible, and yet, it's, yet it is very sturdy. So uh, we don't have to think a lot how we lay out the cable uh, in our makeshift control room. We can bend it around uh, narrow corners, it can go straight under doors, uh, and yet it is sturdy enough that if somebody steps on it, the cable itself is not harmed. Another advantage uh, in favor of the optical USB 3 cable is the possible cable length. Um, I have much less restriction with the optical cable than I do have with copper wires. For example, with USB 3, uh, in the copper version, up to 5 meters it would work fine. Over 5 meters I would have limitations regarding the bandwidth, the maximum bandwidth that I can transmit over uh, the copper cable. With the optical cable, I can have 50 meters of cable and still have the same data rate as with a short cable run. For me as a user, it's very important that the system is as straightforward as possible. And this is the case with the Corning optical cable. I do have one USB plug and I do have another USB plug at the other side. So it's just plug and play and it works. The optical USB 3 cables from Corning made my mobile recording more easy, more comfortable and more quiet.